In this lecture, we will talk about applications of geometric sequences. We know the sum of the formula for geometric sequence is the initial term times one minus r squared divided by one minus r. Okay. If the absolute value of r is less than one, uh, this r is the common ratio. Uh, uh, if you want to put remark right here, that's fine. r is the common is the common ratio. Okay. If it's less than one, then when n goes to infinity, we have a uh, r to the n goes to zero, because previously we have seen r is three fourths. Okay. If r goes to zero, then this r to the n goes to zero, we then have a, uh, the sum, when n goes to infinity, then we will have a one, upstairs is just one, because this r to the n goes to zero. Uh, that's there is r. Uh, Okay, and then this sum is no longer the finite sum because n goes to infinity means uh, more than n terms. It goes bigger and bigger, uh, infinite. Then we then have a s without n. This is the formula. All right, now look at this application. Uh, this one says that find the rational number represented by the repeat, repeating decimals. So basically, this one is 0.56. Above, above it means the number is written in this way. Okay, 5, 6 repeats. Okay, now you know, we can write 0 0.565656 5, 6 in this way. That's 0 0.56 plus 0 0.0056 plus 0 000056. Uh, and then, you know, without stopping. So this is an infinite uh, series. But this infinite series is also a geometric sequence. Okay, yeah. first term, the second term, the third term. And what is the ratio if it's the geometric sequence? That's A2 divided by the previous term, A1. So that's point zero zero five six divided by point five six. And we know that uh, if both numerator and denominator are multiplied by when he would be, let's say, 10,000. So we'll have 5, 6 here, and here 5, 6, 0, 0, divided by that. Okay, then five six five six. The upstairs will be one. Downstairs is fifty six hundred divided by fifty six. That's one hundred. That's point zero one, and this is the R. Okay. Now, if you look at the formula for the infinite series. This formula is even looks even simpler. 
So you see, like this. As s equals a one times one over one minus r. Okay. So the initial term we know is 0.56, and r we know, then it will be initial term 0.56 times 1 over 1 minus r, and r is 0 0.01. Okay. All right, and then there's 0.99 for denominator, and then there's 56 over 99 because both numerator and denominator is multiplied by 100. Okay? So, we then have 56 over 99. So, this basically tells us that a repeating decimal number can be converted to a fractional number. Okay, that's why we say a rational number is a fractional number or is a repeating decimal number. If a number does not have a repeating expansion, then this number will not be rational because it cannot be converted to a fractional. But in this case, it has a uh, repeating expansion, so then it can be converted to the fractional number. Okay. And here is another example. You see, this one is uh, 10.5, and 5 is a repeating expansion. You may write 10 plus 0.5 and point 0.5 with a repeating expansion is like this. Huh? It's 10 plus point 0.5 plus point zero 0.05 plus point zero zero 0.005. Then, then this comes to be an infinite series. You know the initial term, like this one was point 0.56. The initial term down here is point 0.5. You need to find out the ratio. And the ratio is 0 0.05 divided by 0 0.5. Uh, that's actually 0 0.1. This was 0 0.01. This is 0 0.1. Okay? So, you put into the formula 10 plus 0 0.5 times 1 over 1 minus 0 0.1. And then 10 plus 0 0.5 over 0 0.9. And then 10 plus 5 over 9. Add 10, so it's 95 over 9. Try yourself. I suggest you don't look at this part. Uh, try yourself first and then go back to see if you get the same answer. Okay. So, that's the application for the geometric sequences. I'll see you next time.